sir. Sir? Oh, good. I wasn't sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, oh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh, no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Huh? It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you make it into a necklace, I bet it will look great on a lot of girls. Well, uh, this isn't mine. What? But, but, but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking for me just to give me that? Um, uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one too? <laughs> no, this lighter is mine. Thanks. You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. There's a lot of people out there whose lives are a lot tougher. <laughs> like me. <laughs> You're an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Really? Tomorrow. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Um, uh huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. It looks like there's someone hiding behind a tree, and that someone is out to get you. Now, how do you suppose you can prevent that? Oh, you came back for the stuff you forgot. I made Dana go out to look for you. She said she'd try the town square. Welcome. Listen, will you tell my fortune again? Certainly. Well? The fated hour is 3.30. I see. Listen carefully. What I tell you is nothing more than one possible future. The shape of your destiny can change, depending on what actions you take. If you can return here, even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you the next fortune. Okay. sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, oh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh, no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Huh? It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. 
If you make it into a necklace, I bet it will look great on a lot of girls. Well, uh, this isn't mine. What? But, but, but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking for me just to give me that? Um, uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one, too? <laughs> no, this lighter is mine. Thanks. You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. There's a lot of people out there whose lives are a lot tougher. Well, like me. <laughs> You're an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Really? Tomorrow. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Um, uh-huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. What's the matter? Are you going somewhere? Uh, no. Is there someone after me? Behind the tree? You have a nerve, my girl. Really? What with that one being punished yesterday, too? What is it that you don't understand? What's so difficult about being more quiet-like? Dressing above one station is an offense, you know. Do you want to be punished like that woman? What's wrong with wearing what one likes? And this dress is one of my quieter ones. Really good ladies. You'd like to wear this kind of a dress yourself, wouldn't you? Well, I never! A little neighbor lay advice and she sasses me. All right, we'll have the law down here. That's right, you tell her. Oh, that's not very pleasant, is it? Come on, let's just let this pass, all right? Well then, in exchange for us not telling the law, you'll make us dresses for free. Right, that is. You're a seamstress, you are. That's right. You tell her. You'll make me one, too. Oh, dear. I don't see how I could do a thing like that. We're doing this just to be obliging. Whoa! What are you? Who are you? What's this? It's dark already. Get yourselves home, everyone. Get your... Oh, sir! This man just suddenly... I see now. It was you. This little girl called for help. Wicked little sly boot. Oh, the hussy. Sir, you must arrest her at once. What? Why should you think a thing like that? What's this now? What are you doing here? Hold it! Where do you think you're going?
I have an idea. I'll just turn this thing on and... Lord Almighty! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Listen carefully. Stop bothering this woman and go home. If you do as I say, no harm will come to you. This time. If you don't, I'll use this machine on you. Ooh. I can trap any of you inside this box in an instant. Sweet savior! And you will keep what happened here a secret. Understand? Yes. Everyone, give your word. I promise. Forgive us, please. Please. Mm. Uh, will that be uh, all? If it is, uh, you could perhaps go away now. And everyone, go home too. Godspeed. Oh, thank you. You've saved me. But who are you? No, nobody you need to be afraid of. But enough about that. Did you see a girl? She's about your age. What? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Look, why don't you stop by my house? It's right over there. We can not stay out here, and you can tell me everything inside. Let me introduce myself. I'm Margaret. I'm Ike. Ike Kush. Well, Ike, shall we? What is it? What is it? Mother, I'm home. How are you feeling? I am all right today. There hasn't been a great deal of pain. Is someone with you? A guest? Wow! Would you look at those strange clothes? We met in the square. He's looking for someone. Isn't that right? Yeah, something like that. My, your friend's voice is remarkably like your father's. Hmm, do you think so? Where is father anyway? Closed up down there again. He won't come up, even with mother like this. It's all right, Hugo. I love your father better for doing what he believes in. Is that how it is? Hugo, you'll carry on after your father someday, won't you? I... I, I don't know yet. Well, maybe I'll just go take a peek. I wonder if father had his dinner yet. Hey, please be careful with that. What is that? Uh, it's a machine. A really complicated one. It's, uh, well, I, I don't know how to explain it to you. Let me guess. It... It... Makes whatever dish you want appear? <laughs> no. Okay. That was just wishful thinking. Well... Then... it maps the heavens? No, it doesn't do that. All right, then. It... I know! It lets you travel through time! Uh, and you've come from the future, am I right? Well, actually, uh... What? I'm right? How could that be? Uh, how is that possible? 
And is that why you've got such funny clothes on? Well, uh, you... <coughs> Mother, are you all right? Hugo. <laughs> Hugo, you ought not bother our guest so. I'm sorry. He's very curious about everything, just like his father. I suppose he'll become a scientist as well once he grows to be a man. I'm not interested in alchemy, at least not right now. How can I be when it can't even produce a medicine to make Mother well again? Perhaps not yet, but with time and effort, one never knows. I'm sure that's what your father believes, dear. So, your father's an alchemist, huh? Well, something like that. He makes medicine for people, and does stuff like mixing and grinding strange stones and metals. He's always doing that sort of thing. And I mean always, all the time. Hugo, dear. <laughs> Father's completely wrapped up in his experiments. I couldn't even get him to look my way. So what else is new? He's always staring at the kiln. He hasn't even noticed that I was born. Hugo, don't talk that way. You were looking for someone, weren't you? Tell me, what does she look like? Is this girl like your... You know. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's not anything like that. I actually don't remember too well because I just met her, but she was blonde and had her hair tied back kind of high, and I think she was wearing something reddish. Reddish, huh? Can't say I remember anyone like that. I guess I'll go look around. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're leaving already? It's dark outside, so be careful. Let me know if you find her. I'll keep an eye out. Tough luck, sis. Guess you're just not his type. Oh, what are you talking about? Well, goodbye. Thanks for your help. Oh, no. I'm sorry I couldn't help much. See you soon, all right? Come to laugh at me like all the rest, have you? It's a terrible time we live in. You put on a pretty dress and they punish you. I thought the squire would be merciful, but... A blonde girl? I wouldn't know a thing about that. Haven't seen you around before. A woman? Don't know anything about that. If I don't get this seedling planted by the end of the day, the foreman will have a what for. The squire's manor is beyond that gate. The squire's crest? Come to think of it, the seal on the manor house is about to fall off. Everyone is saying how it ought to be repaired.
You want to take a look inside? Well, I've got the key. Of course, I can't let you in for nothing. What have you got to trade? Everyone says that the Lord is a fine gentleman. Is there anything interesting happening around here? A blood girl? I haven't seen anyone. How about the square? There may be someone there who can help. Squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. By the blessed Mary, this is the Squire's. What's this now? Yes, I have a message for you. The Squire doesn't want a tree here. What? Then, if the squire says so, that's that. Guess I'll call it a day. <laughs> So Dana is somewhere back there in the past. Oh, what have I done to get her involved in this? I promise I'll find you. Please hang in there. Until then. Today is a good day to quit. I don't want to die.
Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Do something useful, you know, like gathering information. I'd deeply appreciate it if you wouldn't disappoint me. Hello, Ike? Oh, Mr. Eckert. Weren't you supposed to come around to my museum today? If you're not, I was thinking about closing up here. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to head out there right now. That's right. I was supposed to stop by the museum. I better get going. <laughs>